everybody. So today I actually just got back from going to my first indoor movie uh, in, since March, which is so crazy and so exciting. And I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about it, the experience and uh, and what it was like and uh, and how that all happened. And what you have to know, sort of the backstory, is that here in Utah, we're in a different spot than a lot of other places in the country, certainly than your LA's and your New York's. Started out with what we call a red level of concern. This was right around Easter. Was the was the highest I think red level, uh, and that's when everybody is to stay at home. We did a really good job of of sh of sheltering in place, of staying home, and now we actually have been had things lowered to a yellow level, which is a low risk level. When you look at the state rankings, Utah was actually ranked number one on three categories in the response to the coronavirus. First, they had the least deaths per capita. And then second, the most tests per capita. We actually have more tests than we have demand here, if you can believe that. So we're, we're really crushing it there. And then the lowest percentage of workforce to file unemployment since the 12th of March. And so we are in a far different, the next closest is Tennessee, and their averages are almost double in every category compared to us. So we have a really special situation here in Utah, and that's why we've been able to get down to yellow uh, faster than other places. It doesn't mean there's no risk, it doesn't mean that it's completely safe, but it's pretty, pretty close. It's pretty safe here at this point. When you look at the statistical chances of, especially if you are social distancing and you're wearing a mask, they, it is a pretty safe place to live right now here in Utah. Things are starting to open up, whether it be theaters and uh, restaurants, you can dine in, uh, but they have the safety precautions, the other things. And I'm going to talk a little about it. I actually think there's definitely a case to be made. This is probably the safest I've ever been in a movie theater in my life. And because of all the, the precautions and the other things that were going on. And uh, so we're at that yellow level. And that means that these theaters can open. And uh, the, but most of them aren't because they're the big chains. And so the, as a franchise, they, they make those decisions on a, on, a, on a country level versus on a state level. And, but the Sierra Shell in Orem, which is about 30 minutes from my house, uh, they, uh, they decided to open and they announced it on their web page. And, and I was so excited to see it. On Monday, they put an announcement called the COVID-19 update. And this is Monday, May 4th. And he says, as things are slowly ramping back up in Utah, we want to provide you with an update. Beginning May 8th, we are opening the Clark Grand Theater for special limited movie engagements. Our summer matinee program will begin on June 1st. At this time, we are planning to open the Sierra Shell Outdoor Theater on June 5th. Anyway, it goes through. He says, your safety and comfort is our top priority, and we are implementing procedures, including reduced capacity, staff to wear masks and gloves, extra sanitation measures, hand sanitizer stations in the lobby, social distancing markers, and signage, and all other means to support your health. We strongly encourage all patrons to wear masks when visiting our venues, and we may take temperatures at the door. Of course, stay home if you are sick or if you are high risk. I was able to talk with Adam J. Robertson and April Berlin. Adam is the president and CEO of Marketing and Development, and uh, April is the operations manager, Marketing Development at Sierra. And I just really wanted to do what I could to support them. I'm going to be writing up an article as well, uh, but I wanted to uh, to support them in this decision because it's always hard to be that first person. And I asked them about the theater, first of all, that it's, it's it was founded in 1933 and it is a beautiful historic theater. And they, they not only have their indoor theater, but they also have the outdoor Sierra Shell, which I've enjoyed many, many, many concerts and, and theater productions there over the years. So it was pretty, pretty fun to talk with them. And I asked them, how, how was that decision made to close the theater? Was that a difficult decision? And they said, honestly, it was a pretty easy decision. For 86 years, we've always taken care of our patrons and staff and their health and safety. 
was our top priority. When they say the virus was unprecedented, that was very literally true for us, as was the first time in those 86 years we closed our doors. It's been difficult and worrisome, but necessary. So that's really, really amazing. And they have done some streaming uh, of, of, uh, of concerts and other activities and things uh, during this time that they have been closed. So then I asked them about the decision to reopen. And they said, we made the decision cautiously and optimistically. And after many hours on the phone with state and county officials and, and discussion with staff on their co uh, comfort levels, and uh, so th th what they're doing is they're going to have, they're having reduced capacity. Uh, when you'll see uh, there's different uh, rows that are closed uh, off to people. Uh, they're encouraging everyone to sit uh, far apart unless you're in a group. Uh, it's encouraging everyone to wear masks. All these staff are wearing masks. I was able to go uh, to see Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two tonight and that was just an incredible experience the clark grand theater is so beautiful uh, i've actually i don't think i've ever seen a movie there which is amazing because it's a little bit of a drive uh but it was it was just a wonderful experience i mean i really do enjoy that movie and to get to see it and so i'm gonna i took a bunch of footage but uh take a look at kind of the experience this is rachel from rachel's reviews and i'm here at the Sears show to cover their opening. They've been open for about a week now and I'm going to see Harry Potter and the uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2. And I'm going to, I've already had an interview with them and I'm going to check out the what they're doing to keep everybody safe. And it's going to be great. Looks like they have a whole separate entrance for high risk uh, persons. So that's interesting. So that, reminder for social distancing and to wear your mask. Sanitation stands. Here we can see the gorgeous, the huge, called the Clark Theater, right? Um, yes. The Clark Theater. Clark Theater. Here we go. Hello. Hi. All the concessions workers were all wearing masks and gloves. Everything was very safe, and uh, and uh, it turns out that I found out later that all of those concession workers there were teenagers, were all volunteers, which is really, really cool and such an amazing uh, thing that people would give up their time to help this small, local, beautiful theater uh, to get back on their feet after all this. So that just warmed my heart. You can see the rows sectioned off for distancing and everything is cleaned regularly. Coming out to get out of the house, Maybe some of you got kicked out tonight to get, to get away, but thank you for coming out and helping us support, get things, smiles back on our faces again, try to get things back into a little bit of real reality, but having some fun. Uh, we just ask if you're sitting on the same row, make sure that if it's a different group of people, may have three seats between you. Uh, try not to sit on the same row. We have uh, plenty of seating. When you leave tonight, please just exit slowly, not all at one time, wait, stagger your seating, stagger your leaving, you can go out the front door, there's two sides, just so you're not all congregating at the same time and hitting the door at one time. Credits last forever anyway. But thank you for coming, enjoy yourself. The one thing I wanted to say, but it'll start in just a minute, you know, you can't, you know, everybody's complaining about the mask, not being able to breathe, not being able to... The thing I'm complaining about is I'm not seeing smiles. My motto in life has always been to laugh. When you laugh, you can't help but smile. Hopefully we get rid of the mask soon so I can see your smiles again. Enjoy, have fun, and have a wonderful evening, guys. Just finished the movie and the credits are just going now and this is a great experience it felt very safe so there you have it that was my experience going to the theater it meant a lot to me i really do like that last harry potter movie i think it's a really moving way to end the the series and uh so that was you know it's always great when you can see an emotional film like that uh in in a in a momentous moment like that so it, it all fit 
perfectly. You are in the orum area and you feel comfortable. I would never want anyone to do anything that they don't feel comfortable with. But if you feel comfortable, if you feel like it's going to be safe enough for you, I would just really encourage you to go check out what they're playing at the Sierra, support them. I, th I think I felt very, very safe, grateful that I was able to have that experience. I feel very, very blessed. And I, I even I had to wear a mask the whole time and I hate wearing masks. You can hear me breathing in the mask when I'm listening to that guy talk, uh, which how sweet was that? Uh, so sweet. And I don't know, I just, it was a really positive, wonderful experience for me. And if you feel up to it and feel like that's something you can do, I would really encourage you to go and support these people as they are trying to, to, uh, to take that first step back into, into being reopened and, uh, and provide that experience for our community. I will have article up soon, which will be a little, we'll have more of the interview and some other stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.